Hey, what's up you guys? This is Los from the Big Retro Show and if you're here it's because you're having issues running Samurai Showdown on your computer. Now Samurai Showdown was just made available on the Epic Game Store for free. I downloaded it and I was having the same issues and I fixed it. So I'm going to show you guys how to fix it right now. But before I do, make sure that you subscribe to the Big Retro Show for all that good video game content. And also like this video and drop me a comment as well. So first I'm going to do first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to illustrate the problem to you and show you what happens. Um, I'm going to go to the library and then I'm going to go to Samurai Showdown. I just downloaded it. And it's going to go ahead and launch. Or is it? Here it is trying to launch and I'm getting happy now. Oh, I'm going to get to play Samurai Showdown for free because I just got it. And it kicks me out. There's nothing. It just kicks me back out into the Epic Game Store. So this is how you fix it. The first thing you need to do is to exit out of the Epic Game Store. Okay. The next thing you need to do is you need to open up your task manager. There's my task manager. Okay. I'm going to go down and find the Epic Game Store. Rather, the Epic Games Launcher. And, and I'm going to end that task. You can also do this from your system tray. Just exit out of there. So that make sure that the Epic Game Store is not running in the background. Next thing you're going to do is you're going to click on your start button and then your settings. Then where it says find the settings, you're just simply going to type variables. Okay. Don't hit enter at this point. Just let it find what you're trying to look for. And it's the very top one, which says edit the system variable. So go ahead and click on that. Okay. Here is the box that came up. Then what you want to do is you want to click on environment variables, which is listed towards the bottom. Okay. Now click on environment variables. You're going to ignore this box right here. And you're going to go down to system variables down below. Okay, what can you what you're gonna do is you're gonna click on new, and then what you're gonna type in as the variable name, type it exactly how I'm I'm giving it to you. Okay, it's capital S D L underscore audio driver. Okay, just like that S D L underscore audio driver. All right. Make sure you type it exactly as I'm giving it to you. For the variable value, it's very important that you type this in exactly as I type it too. It's just direct sound. Okay. Capital D I R E C T, capital S O U N D. From here, you're going to click OK. Then you're going to click OK again. We're going to go ahead and click OK one more time for good measure. And then you're going to X out of here. Okay. Then you're going to, what you're going to do is you're going to open up your Epic Games Launcher once again. And here's mine. It's loading up. We'll make that full screen just so you guys can see. We'll go to the library. And then we'll try to launch Samurai Showdown again and pray to the gods that it starts. There's a Samurai Showdown. Can't celebrate quite yet. And as you can see, I am now able to play Samurai Showdown. I haven't played this yet. I just thought I'd make this video right quick just to show you how to fix this error. Now, um, if that doesn't work for you, if what I'm giving you does not work for you, replace the direct sound when you're doing that step of the instructions with uh, WinMM. W-I-N-M-M. -M. Okay, it's going to depend on your setup. 
Anyways, guys, if you enjoyed this video, if it helped you, please let me know in the comments. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the channel. Have fun gaming, guys, and uh, I think it's time to get into a little bit of Samurai Showdown. Peace.